All right, everybody, we have a very special treat on our Intern Queen YouTube today. So some of you may remember Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Um, Morgan was actually an Intern Queen ambassador from the University of South Carolina. She also interned for Intern Queen, and today she is no longer an intern, no longer in college. She is the publicity coordinator at E. So explain to everybody watching, what does a publicity coordinator at a place like E do? There's no um, same day to day, but essentially, uh, you know, making sure to check all of our magazines, weeklies, our um, trade magazines, such as Variety and Hollywood Reporter, uh, just to see if there are any stories having to do with our network, our company, any of our talent. It just really varies day to day, but any of those clips that you see online um, for previews to a new episode are pulled by me or other publicists on our team. If we see like Khloe Kardashian on Steve Harvey and she's promoting Revenge Body with Khloe mm -hmm. and you work with the show, like that would be something that your team helps to book, would help coordinate. Yes. And yeah. so how do you keep up with all of the news and all of the, the stuff that's out there about a place like E? Like how do you? How do you find it all? Um, Google Alerts. Google Alerts. Um, and we've talked about that on the channel before, just the importance of setting up Google Alerts. It is. Just doing a daily search. Our interns um, are a vital part of our team. And every day they do a search of all of our shows, our network, all of our talent to see what kind of press pickup we've gotten in the last 24 hours. Um, so just doing that on a daily basis, as well as keeping up on social media and making sure you know we follow not only our talent, but our competitors so we can see what they're doing and seeing what they're talking about. And so best part of your job, hardest part of your job? Best part of my job is my team and getting to help them. Um, I love doing junkets. It's a lot of people don't enjoy them because it's a long day usually and it's a lot of back and forth. But for me, it, the busyness is what excites me and I enjoy getting to be outside of the workplace um, and in new environments. So I think that's probably the best part of my job. And then the not so glamorous part of my job is probably keeping up with the stories, especially if there's a breaking news story or we have a really big exclusive, whether it be on the royal family or someone has a baby that's being born. Um, that's usually when it gets a little hard because there's so much to track and cover um, because everyone reports on it. And if we've broken the news, it's a lot to keep up with of who's posting on it. How do you keep up with the 24 hour news cycle and sleep? <laughs> that is a great question. Um, I think just always checking from the night before for me, like yeah. I, unless I know something really big is coming out, I don't get up any extra early, but I do check my emails the second I wake up um, to make sure that I'm not missing anything and that there hasn't been anything that's broken. No emergencies, over no babies, no divorces. No babies, <laughs> yeah. And so I, I'm excited that I even get to ask this question, but take us on your journey. The Morgan story, the college journey from like, internqueen.com to like internships to working at E. So um, in college, I knew it was gonna be hard for me to find an internship because I went to school in South Carolina, um, which is obviously not a big market for internships. Right. And so one day I just was searching online like crazy for different opportunities and I fell upon your website um, and I immediately spent hours on the website and when I found out they had a campus ambassador program, I noticed I was right in the window to apply still and be eligible. And I probably wrote like a crazy email. I'm sure I still have it somewhere. I know, I'll um, have to find that email. As to why I thought that I would be a good candidate for Lauren and for Intern Queen to represent the brand. Um, and I did have a few other really great opportunities at school, which I knew would allow me to get the outreach that she needed for the program. And so um, I bothered her until I got it. And I got it, which was wonderful. Come the next summer, I worked really, really hard to try and get an internship with Lauren, which just because you're part of the ambassador program does not mean you're guaranteed an internship. It is true. tough. That I will tell, I will <laughs> that's tell true. people. That's true, it was tough. Yeah. It was, and I will tell people that's working for Lauren as an intern was probably the hardest internship I've ever had because it wasn't only media and, um, and internship stuff, it was really business oriented, which I wasn't used to being in visual communications and journalism, doing things on the business side. So it was an extremely great learning experience to learn not only about the business of being an entrepreneur and just owning, like being in a business setting anyways, but also, you know, that outreach to other students and also allowed me to be better at communicating because I didn't have a choice. You know, I was 
blind reaching out to people regularly. And so it made me a better communicator. And I thank Lauren for that. Yay, I love that. Which is awesome. And that summer I had two internships. So I worked for Lauren part of the week and I also worked at Nickelodeon in oh, their PR right. department. Oh, that's right, I forgot. Yes, the Nickelodeon days, so cool. Yes, and so that's actually how I ended up here is after I graduated college, I've always kept in touch with my internship supervisors, mm -hmm. obviously still with Lauren. Mm -hmm. And one of my intern supervisors was a manager here at E. She still works here today. And she reached out to me because she knew that I was still wanting to be in PR and that I loved entertainment and thought I would be a great fit for the job. And so after about a two and a half month interview process, I finally landed the job here. So it's just really important, I would say, to always keep in touch with your internship supervisors, but also not to just keep in touch with them for job sake, but to continue to build your personal relationship with them. It's great to see that you were able to find an opportunity. In your case, it happened to be with Intern Queen first and then with all these other great companies and that because of staying in touch and leveraging relationships, you're you're living the life here. <laughs> this is so cool. So. Um, if you had one piece of advice to pass along to everybody watching who's, you know, maybe experiencing a little bit of self-doubt, would love to work at E, but just can't see that clear path, like what would it be? Ooh, I would say yet again, just always continue to build the relationships with the people that you meet throughout your internship experiences is, is vital because you never know who they might know. And if you build a great relationship with them and, you know, they see that you're a hard worker and that you really, really are striving towards your goal, they'll always be willing to help. And so I think just making sure that you're always genuine and honest and, and keep hard working, um, that it just, it makes it easier for people to want to help you at the end of the day. And I think that's also something that Lauren has taught me too over the years is like, keep those relationships, even if it's been six months to a year, don't ever feel weird to hesit or hesitate to right. reach out to someone. Absolutely, and look, I mean, it's four years after her internship and Morgan and I are sitting here together and we've actually seen each other quite a few times this year. So uh, always stay in touch, you never know what's gonna happen. And um, if you guys have any questions for Morgan, just comment uh, below and uh, we'll see if she answers them.